My name is Seamus Carney. I'm the Operations Manager here with Clydebank Estate. Clydebank Estate as an organisation was uh, uh, started in 2007 as a profit of purpose social entrepreneurial organisation whose remit was really to train young and old in the traditional skills of landscaping, gardening, uh, fisheries management, estate management, stone masonry and community gardening. Uh, I'll do two years in post this year and one of the key uh, objectives that uh, was part of my remit was to develop a green program on site. At that time there was little or no greening taking place on site, little or no resource efficiency on site. Uh, there was no really waste management system in place. One of the key studies that first of all took place at Cloybank Estate was to identify what sort of waste we were generating and in what quantities. Uh, whether that be food waste, whether that be uh, uh, aluminium, uh, steel, whether that be cardboard, paper, uh, whether that be glass, whether that be uh, clothing, textiles, whatever it might be. And then once identified, to identify key uh, uh, outputs where we could maybe begin to generate some income from uh, ethically recycling that waste, to looking at maybe using that waste in other ways and in other forms. Uh, we are a year and a half in uh, to the program and already we've made significant savings. Um, when I started at Clydebank Estate, uh, we were spending somewhere in the region of about £22,500 on timber, uh, virgin timber material every year. Uh, we were able to contact two local companies who generate quite a lot of waste timber product uh, which we took off them for free. As I said, £22,500 was spent on average in terms of our timber product on a year-to-year -year basis. This year to date we've only spent £6,000 which has been a, a, a dramatic cost savings. Well, one of our big areas here is electricity uh, and we use, quite, we've, we use quite a lot of, of, of electricity to generate and power our buildings, to lighten buildings, to heat our buildings and so on and so forth. One of the key dilemmas that we faced as a management team is staff continue to keep lights on in the building. We uh, took the decision uh, three months ago to install monitor switches in all of our buildings. We've reduced our, our, our savings in terms of our electricity bill uh, by about 50 or 60 pounds a month just by installing those switches. I, w I would say that if a company wanted to look at how they could save money, I would say that the first course of action that companies should take on board would be the advice, consultancy and direction and support of Resource Efficiency Scotland. Then and therefore they should use the resource a savings finder, um, uh, which is a free resource, which is freely available. Which will give you uh, both uh, direction in terms of where the savings can be made but also support and actions to help you make those savings in those areas. I would wholeheartedly recommend that be taken forward by companies in Scotland who, li who like us can make dramatic savings 